Hi, it's me again. So I have three images today. Um, the first is someone said once about Martin Luther King, he saw us dancing before we knew we could move. So it's about seeing something. It's about conjuring up an image. It's about imagining something for another that they can't see. That's the first image. Second image, I hadn't thought of this in many years, but I, I when I was a student in my 20s at, in, at Berkeley, I was on a bus and I was uh, standing in the back and I, there were two seats I could see on the left. The first seat next to the window was shared by two young boys, like brothers, and they could fit in one chair. And sitting on their lap was a big old shoebox that they had carefully punched air holes in. And uh, sitting next to them was an old African-American man with gray dreadlocks. And the man turns to the brothers and he says, what you got? And in unison, with great delight, they said, a rat. And sure enough, they lift the lid and there's a big old live rat. I can see it from where I'm standing. And the man says, does your mom know that you're bringing this home? And they went, no. And he said, I'm sure she's going to be thrilled. And then I watched this old man continue to engage these two little guys. And he saw value in them and they mattered to him. And he would ask them questions and he listened and waited for their answers. And he elevated them to a place of esteem. And I'm certain they felt cherished. And this old man saw them dancing before they knew they could even move. And so it was time for him to get off the bus and the man um, also simultaneously gave his seat up to a young woman standing. And then before he left, he looked at the boys and he said, I think she is gonna love to see that. Then he turns and he looks at me and winks and gets off the bus. Image three, a friend of mine named Mary, who lives by herself in San Francisco, emailed me the other day. She's a writer and a mystic in as much as she can see the wholeness in people. And she's on house arrest like all of us. And one of her ways of coping is in the middle of the day, she puts on Buena Vista Social Club and it's music that I recommend to you. And for an hour, she dances wildly in her living room all by herself. And sure, it's exercise, I guess. She's older than I am, but in better shape than I am. And But it's, it's an act of elevation. She's imagining something. She's conjuring up an image. She sees us dancing before we knew we could even move. This is what you do for me. This is what you do for each other. Sometimes we're stuck. We don't even know that movement will ever be possible. But you see us dancing and you elevate us and you hold each other in esteem and people feel cherished and yes momentarily we think we can't move nor will we ever move again but you see us dancing before we knew we could move love you